Hello everybody. So my name is Wendy Riggs, and if you are here watching this lecture right now, uh, hopefully it's because you're enrolled in my human physiology course. I'm recording this video. I used to call it a syllabus lecture, and the fact is that I'm not going to go over the syllabus. In the past I did. Um, I'm going to hit on some high points of the syllabus, some high points that from experience I feel will benefit you if I discuss before you show up on the first day of class. Because human physiology, don't tell anybody this, but it's my favorite class, like hands down. If you had me for anatomy, I'm sure you heard me saying that I love anatomy, and I do. I love teaching anatomy. And if you had me for bio one, I'm sure I said I love that class too, and I do. I love all the classes I teach. The physio. No question. Physio is, if I had to give up everything else, the one class that I would want to continue teaching if I couldn't teach anything else is human physiology. It is different than anatomy. And I think one of the reasons why I love anatomy so much is because you really cut your teeth as a student in anatomy. You cannot pass that class unless you figure out how you study, how you learn, how to prioritize your time, what strategies work best for you. And it's one of the reasons why I feel so lucky to work in a place where we separate anatomy and physiology, because you have that entire semester to get your groove on. And then somewhere in the mix, you take chemistry, because before coming to physio, you've had anatomy, general bio, and chemistry, and this is magic because you're ready to take a, a step up. Physio um, requires a level of thinking and analysis that is less uh, stressed in anatomy and bio one and chemistry. Like all, all, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe all the other instructors would totally say that their class has the same level of all of those awesome things. Um, but I really do think this is sort of a capstone course for all the skills you're going to need going into the programs that you guys are looking at. So I want to spend just a little bit of an intro time talking about some of those really specific skills. The other thing is that, you know, half of you probably have no idea who I am. The other half, are like, dude, we've, we've, we've done the rig scene. And so you, ha you, you know what the flow is and you kind of have a sense there's, you're not going to have that learning curve of getting used to the different style that we take advantage of in this class. Last semester was the first time that I really felt like um, I sort of made the assumption that everybody was already there, like you guys already knew um, and had already bought into the system as it was. And I feel like that was a hardship on a bunch of students who didn't have experience with my classes before. So I'm thinking that, you know, kind of naming the skills that you're going to need and explaining why I do things the way that I do them, um, I, I just feel like it will benefit you to have a little bit of that support um, before we even start physio. Like all of our bi big biology classes, I mean, we definitely hit the ground running, and we keep running <laughs> all the way through. The nice thing about spring is we do have spring break in the middle where we take a little break and rest and hopefully get some sleep, but um, this is, the course isn't messing around. It, it, the requirements are high. Okay, so let's start out with a sort of overview of how I look at education and how this class is structured to support kind of my core uh, priorities. Okay, I'll be right back. 